Hi, everybody, and welcome to this video. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about subjective pronouns. So let's take a look at the board. Here they are, the subjective pronouns. Please take a careful look. They're very important in English. Okay, so the first subjective pronoun is I. I means me. I'm Esther. I. He. Now, he is only used for boys or men. Okay? He. So another boy or man is he. She is used for girls or women. Okay? She. It. It is used for a place like a school, an animal like a dog, or a thing like a chair. Okay? It. The next one is you. You means you. Okay, you. We. We means other people and me. For example, I sing, you sing, and we sing. Okay, we. And the last one is they. They means many people, places, animals, or things. Okay, so more than one. If there's more than one, we use the subjective pronoun they. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Okay, so let's practice together with subjective pronouns. The first sentence on the board says, Jenny sings. Now, Jenny is one girl. So we can say, she sings. Jack sings. Jack is one boy. So we have to say, he sings. The last sentence says, Jenny and Jack sing. Now, Jenny and Jack are two people. So we have to say, they sing. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Okay, let's do some more practice. The first sentence on the board says, the cat runs. The cat is an animal. So we have to say, it runs. The next sentence says, the dog and cat run. Now, the dog and cat, they are two animals. So anytime you have two or more things, we say, they run. They. Okay. Now, for the last sentence, I'm going to talk about my cat, Ongi. Okay. Ongi is a cat. He's an animal. But he has a name. He's a boy cat. Okay. And I love him. And he's like family. So Ongi runs. I can say, he runs. Okay. Let's move on to the next part. Here are some more examples. But this time, you have to figure out the subjective pronoun together with me. Okay? So, my students study. What should we use? Well, my students, there's an S, right? There are people and there's more than one, many people. So, we have to use the subjective pronoun they. They study. The next example, John is handsome. Okay, John, that's a person. There's only one, right? And it's a boy, John. So what should we use? We have to use the subjective pronoun he. One boy, we say he. He is handsome. Okay, the last one. Pizza is delicious. Pizza is a thing. And there's only one, right? There's no S. One pizza, we say it. It is delicious. Okay, let's move on to some more examples. The first example says Seoul is a city. Now, Seoul is a place. Okay. So we have to use the subjective pronoun it. It is a city. 
The next example says, "My parents love Ongi." Now, Ongi is my cat. My parents love Ongi. Well, my parents—they are two people. My mom and my dad. So, what do I use? I have to say, "They." They love Ongi. The last example is very similar to the second one. My parents and I love Ongi. Okay. The difference is it says and I. So this is my parents with me. So I have to say we. We love Ongi. Okay. All of us. Okay. So. In this video, we learned about subjective pronouns. I hope you guys have a good understanding of when and how to use them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.